Hello everyone, hello peeps, welcome back to another video on the Mancups channel. Today we're going to be going through one of the harder questions on today's Edexcel GCSE Maths Paper 2. Now I thought this paper was a lot better than Paper 1. It was a lot less challenging with some... There were still a few weird questions, but I thought it was better overall. And I've got a few of the challenging questions that were on the paper I'm going to go through them today so let's look at this one here so we've got three cylinders we have cylinder L M and P and they're all made of the same material and we're given the masses of cylinders L and M so L has a mass of 64 grams M has a mass of 125 grams and we're also given the surface area of M and P so M has a surface area of 144 centimeters cubed squared sorry and P has a surface area of 16 centimetres, that should be squared. Um, and what the question is actually asking us to do is find the ratio of the height of L to the height of M to the height of P. So let's actually look at making a ratio first. We know that the ratio of L to M to P is going to be something we don't know what it is yet but we can look at the mass so i'm going to write mass here and we know that this mass here is going to be 64 225 but i'm going to bring your attention to what actually is mass right you should learn in math and also in physics what the formula for density is so density equals mass over volume and if we rearrange for mass we get mass equals density times volume right we know that the volume is going to be changing throughout but this density because it's the same material is going to be constant right so we know that the mass is going to be changing which you already know because these two are different but since we're only looking at changing the volume because of volume we are looking at in centimeters cubed this ratio here, this one here, this has to be the three-dimensional version. So to find out the one-dimensional version, which is the one we're looking at for... So look, if we've got one dimension, then we've got two dimension, like a square, and then we've got three dimensions, like a cube, right? If you want to find the one-dimensional one, we have to cube root it. So if we take the cube root of 64, that's going to yield us 4. And the cube root of 125 is 5. So we know that the one-dimensional scale factor, essentially, for length to... Not length, sorry. <laughs> L to M is 4 to 5. Now let's look at the surface area. So we've got M. I'm going to write surface area here. We've got M as a surface area of 144, and P has a surface area of 16. Now, what is surface area measured in? We know that it's measured in centimeters squared, so that's going to be our two-dimensional ratio. So to get into our one-dimensional, which we need to compare the ratio of L to, L to M and then M to P, we have to square root it. So square root of 144, that's going to be 12. Square root of 16, that's going to be 4. And literally, all we have to do now is combine the ratio. So if I just tidy up a little bit, we've got 4 to 5 here. Ignore all of the bit above. We've got 4 to 5 and then we've got 12 to 4. We can see that our middle term is not the same here. So we have to try and make that sort of same for both L to M and M to P. So then we can put them into a three-way ratio. So what is the LCM of 5 and 12? That's going to be 60 so we can write 60 down here how do we get from 5 to 12 we multiply by 12 so that's going to give over here 48 because 4 times 12 is 48 and then to get from 12 to 60 we times by 5 so 4 times 5 is going to be 25 no it's not it's going to be 20 and this is not in its simplest form, so we can divide everything by 4, and that's going to give us 12 to 15 to 5. And that is our final ratio. 
12 to 15 to 5 for the height of L to the height of M to the height of P. Now, I know you might be asking, like, it says the height. How we, we can't work out the height, can we? But when we're talking about height in terms of ratio and similar slight shapes, cylinders, and scale factors and whatnot, we are thinking about, like, our one dimension or two dimension or three dimension. So here, <coughs> we've got our one dimension, which is height. We've got our two dimension, which is surface area, and we've got a three dimension, which is our mass. Now, normally in questions, our third dimension, if they are going to give us one, is going to be given in volume, like centimeters cubed or meters cubed or whatever. But here we're given in mass, which I think it kind of threw me at first because I did it in the exam at first, talking about not um, cube rooting it, sorry. So I ended up with some crazy answer in the hundreds, but then last minute I changed it to that one. So, I th I think that probably caught out quite a few people. But hopefully you understand why we cube root it now, and I hope you understand this question. If you did enjoy it, and make sure to leave us a like. If you want to see more of the random stuff on this channel, please subscribe, share with your friends, family, whatever. Um, comment, please do comment how you found the exam, if you got the answer right, and what you thought of the paper, all these good YouTube bits and bobs, and I will see you in the next video, thank you for watching, until next time, goodbye!